Welcome back everyone to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Prussian Lover, Mocha Lover. Right now, we have voting results. So off screen, I decided to play through just a little bit more, push us a little bit more ahead in time. It's May 5th, 1865. The Suez Canal is open. We've done a great job with it because we helped contribute 6% to the project. Whatever. But voting results. Now, off screen, I decided, you know what? Screw it. We need more political stability, so I decided to get a few more reforms in. We're using our uh, reform our country button. I forget what I did exactly. I think I raised the budget to 10% for military spending. So we like spending a lot of money for the budget. Uh, anything else? I can't exactly remember. Maybe basic infrastructure maintenance, maybe? I really can't remember regardless. So it's a success. Yay, 134. Hello. We've got a couple comments to go through as well. But since I said we pushed this a little bit ahead of time. Look at that. Stability. Nice. We're actually making some, making some legislative power. I've gone ahead and done keep Austria out of the Zollverein. The Austrians have repeatedly asked for the German-speaking territories to be attracted to the, uh, attached to the Zollverein. They try to pressure the South German states from forcing our, our hand, but we must stay strong and keep Austria out of the Zollverein at all costs. If we want to stray for down with Germany, which is very good, and strained our relationship with Austria and most of the Zollverein members, but at the same time we did an alliance of convenience. Our victory in the Second Schleswig War has been in, reinvigorated, uh, the German national movement and Prussia is their biggest hope. Many liberals also want to see Germany unified. Maybe we can use this as leverage to weaken the liberal opposition against the government and apparently we've got elections here. So, although by the conservative government precious time, the closure of the parliament left an unpleasant vacuum, even by Bismarckian standards. New elections cannot be suspended indefinitely and so the men of Prussia again headed to the polls five months after parliament has been shut down. Unsurprisingly, the liberal movement emerged victorious once more. Is this the end of Bismarck? Oh, we free press again. God dang it. And we need to do this one, but we need to win the German war, or I think, I assume, the Prus the Brothers' War, so. But like I said, we've got some comments to go through, but let's do this one first. Prussian diplomacy in Europe, which will further involve ourselves in European uh, politics. We need embassy in Switzerland, which we did last time, so we can only get point one seven every single day. It is what it is, so, really, uh, let's go through the comments as we're doing high political stability. Great! This is proof of our efficiency, you betcha. I hope it's Merck. And the Civil War is still raging on. It looks like General Grant is doing his stuff down here, even though I thought... We had to take Vicksburg first. Is, where's Vicksburg? Is it Mississippi? Oh, there it is. Well, he's, he's cutting off Texas first, I guess. Uh, even though Indiana... My God, what the heck happened to Indiana? They took out Indianapolis. They're close to Chicago. They took out, I would say, a good massive chunk of Illinois and took out Springfield. Uh, they got encircled in Fort Wayne. They took Cincinnati. And they even, even took out Pittsburgh. Jesus Christ, the CSA is doing great in this timeline. Well, comparatively to where they were at, really. But then again, they literally just got encircled up here. So, twice. Yeah, CSA, you guys keep it up. Uh, what are the casualties like for the American Civil War right now? Honestly, that's a lot better than it was in real life so far. And it's June 5th, 1865, huh? Nice, they're about equal. Actually, the U.S., the Union is taking more casualties than the CSA. Wow. Oh, let's grab some of this guard rifles. Why not? So it was good, good, good. So one of the comments said that we should play some more Vicky Two on this channel. I hope to, but I, I definitely will not be playing Vicky Two at the same time I'm playing as this mod. So uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, is there like oh, these graphics are oh uh oh. I'm gonna have to reload the game save then because sometimes the graphics just go spewy, 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 and it's really ugly. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. We're looking a lot of things. We got plenty of uniforms and cannons, but. We'll take some time to really outfit our, the rest of our military, especially with our um, infantry up here, too. Other comments. Try out the Heavenly Kingdom in China. Now, I don't remember when this happens, but... Oh, hello. Maybe it already happened, yeah. The Taiping Heavenly Kingdom is spawned. Nice. Siemens Mods in Process. Very nice, very nice. We love industry here. Oh, uh, yes, I'll put... Yes, please. So, yeah. So, when it comes, we play that. I was thinking about playing that in, like, Victoria 2 sometime. I need to play China, Qing China, and Victoria 2 regardless. Wow, the Shogun is looking pretty large. Li Naosuke. Very cool. Very cool. And where are we currently at with this? Uh, centrism. It's slowly getting lower support while we're trying to boost up now traditional conservative stuff. Uh, also, like, at this point, I, I figured that we won't be able to do army reform just because we don't have enough army XP. So I don't understand why we get that as an option then. Like, it doesn't... The, the focuses don't tell you that, oh, you're going to need a lot of army XP to do this. Oh, you're going to need a lot of dockyards to do this. It gives you, over time, unlock several decisions to expand your navy. It doesn't tell you you need, like, a billion ships when you don't have a billion ships. Or it doesn't tell you that you're going to need a lot of political power to finish army reforms. So we're not going to be able to do that. Or army XP. So, 
that's I think something that could be improved in the future. Let's at least letting us know in the future, like when you hover over it or you click on it to focus, like tell people that you're gonna need a lot of something because you know it takes a lot of time. There needs people need to plan when they're playing through this for the future when they want to take this stuff. So unfortunately, we're not gonna get this done. We're not gonna build a high sea sleep, but I'm still gonna build those dockers no matter what because at this point I'm just gonna keep going for it because we'll build it eventually. So. Uh, up next, our ambitions, maybe. More war sports? Sure. We need to clarify our ambitions. Why not? And we have another division. Very cool, very cool. Uh, actually, throw you guys over here. Horses are doing well enough. Uh, does anyone else want to upgrade or train? Uh, throughout time, some generals came, some generals left. I mean, it, it's it's a rotating you know group here. We have 16 ships. We got a total of four capital ships. So we're definitely not going to make the dockyard thing, which, like I said, they, they need to tell people ahead of time. You need to do this. Be prepared for this. You might want to build stuff ahead of time, but regardless. Uh, so someone said the Brothers' War between Prussia and Austria starts after the American Civil War, or usually around then. I know it happened historically in 1860. Okay. Okay, 1866 usually when it happens. Earlier this morning, Confederate Commanding General Robert E. Lee decisively defeated Union Commanding Officer George Meade on the outskirts of raiding Pennsylvania. The outcome of the latest battles will last straw for many, and the Union has been forced to concede to the Confederacy's independence. Ba -da -bum -bum -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum -ba they even got new Arizona. Jesus Christ, that's so far away. And the, this part of New Mexico? Holy goodness. Wow, they got... Oh, this is so ugly. This is what I was like, saying in the last episode. Honestly, like, I know you, you really shouldn't split up states. I know that you have West Virginia and... I need to play this mod again and play as a CSA. But, like, demographically, like... I don't know if they should really get all of Missouri in a piece of... Like, the southern part of Missouri, maybe. Because when you go down, like, the boot, like, you'll, see, you'll hear people with southern accents down there. Like, you think it's a Midwestern Union state? But, and it is, but just a portion of it should be, like, just, like, cut in half or something like that. This makes a lot more sense. West Virginia, though, they seceded and... Well, they didn't technically... Observers return. Uh, as the American Civil War draws to a close, our observers that we had sent now are coming back over. There's no more war to observe. All right. But, like... Okay, that makes sense. I mean, West Virginia did leave the CSA or no, just stay with the Union so but yeah this is the border gore oh look at that wait they got Oklahoma huh but Oklahoma's strip is still American oh that sucks for you um hmm all right weak central authority which makes a lot of sense um do they, I guess they probably still have dueling here De detrimental colonial impact all right Working class exploitation. That doesn't look good for the stability. Uh, ooh. Slavery conscription. All right. Conscript the young. Total war. And for you guys, well, Lincoln, you you failed in this timeline. Holy crap. West Point Napoleonic thought, huh? And then they have inspiring speech. Minor, their influence in the Greeks. Um, I don't know about that, man. That seems a bit odd that you're influencing the Greeks. But hey, you know, you do you. And we'll try to kill off a bunch of Austrians here. Oh, they're training. That's not good. I have the comments too, though. Some, so some of you guys want me to join the Confederates, and some of you guys definitely said no. There's nothing we can really do because we're pretty much locked behind like decisions to go to war and such. So, uh, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> just in case, I would put you guys like here, maybe. Uh, put you up here just because. Uh, put you over here actually, just so if we need to reinforce this area with anything. We have horses that can do so. And let's see. So, yeah, I complained about 70-day focuses, but, yeah, as some of you guys said in the last episode, it makes more sense for this for this mod to have 70-day focuses than pretty much anything else, just because it just, that just makes a lot more sense, since this takes oh, so long to get through stuff. So, totally understand. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just, just in case, you guys... Hold on. Do we not own this here? Birkenfeld. Oldenburg. Who are you? Uh, ambitions. Very good. Colonial treaties? Sure. We need to send some treaties with England. Uh, hopefully we can. I... I don't... I, I, if I remember correctly, and I might be remembering incorrectly, that the Brothers' War lasted, was it for seven weeks? Was it seven weeks, really? That f that fast? I can't exactly remember. What is this? The Gostein Convention? Uh... I don't know what that does. It doesn't tell us, but we'll try it. Why not? Stabilize the nation? No... Well. Uh, Prussian homeland, so there's a Prussian shipbuilding industry. Should have waited. Oh, well. I'm still going to build them up. I don't care. We're still building them up. Wow, what is going on here? 
there's some seriously weird things going on like we established yesterday we got a lot of naval xp we actually have some air xp which is very very odd to see already because we don't have any airships but that's all right uh and yeah cool so it's october 6th and the city rest with katowitz after long existence, Katowice, one of the biggest cities in Silesia, has finally achieved full city rights. This will make any many administrative tasks in the region must be much easier. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. This will be done soon enough. And our capital ships, well, they're coming along. They're not very good. Oh, look at that. we got enough howitzers now. Finally, we've got enough howitzers and infantry equipment. Now we're ready for war. If that's the case, we're going to lower you to do. There you go. How about those horse and tack? Yeah. That'll be done soon. That'll be done relatively soonish. So not bad. Could be a lot better. Um, cool. Oh, we can do some army reforms, too. You might as well, I suppose, at this point. Bonus for artillery. Lose more legislative power. I don't want to lose more legislative power yet, so we'll do that one. So we still need to finish the reforms, so. Alright, and... Yeah, it's got to be happening in 65. So we went with cooperate with England. I like the English. English are nice for now? For now, they are. Glowing ambitions we'll do later on. After this, when the dockyard stuff... I think we're going to go ahead and come back over here. And let's do... Research. Ooh, consumer goods goes down. Nua Bilzen Aldnung. With the growth of the equity market comes a necessity for regulation to prevent economic disruption and to further stimulate growth and stability. We will need to regulate the stock exchanges in Prussia. All right, the Gastein Convention. We have come to an agreement with Austrians regarding the further organization of our rule in Schleswig-Holstein. We will take control of Schleswig, while the Austrians will control Holstein. Both overlords will have military access in both duchies. Given the legislative power, we, it's fine with us. The provisional administration of Schleswig-Holstein will be divided between Austria and Prussia. Austria takes Holstein, where we take Schleswig. Both duchies will give military access to each other, which is cool. And look at all that PP. So now, oh, we can enter. Oh, look at that. Without the together for victory DLC, this is the only way to annex the duchy of Schleswig-Holstein. Oh, we should just annex them, and they'll the duchy loses their core, and hopefully we get a core. Oh, we can. That'd be kind of nice. Well, I wasn't sure we should have done the gas stand thing there, but hey, it's done. It is what it is. So, oh, look at that. Holstein and Schleswig. Holstein does Schleswig. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I was. Oh, the body is meeting. A storm is brewing over the German Confederation. It seems like it's only a matter of time before the military conflict erupts. Otto von Bismarck today got the chance to meet Napoleon III, who, bo while both were present at the beautiful French seaside resort uh, town of Biarritz at the Bay of Biscay. Their meeting was rather discreet, but Otto von Bismarck made some vague in innuendos to a possible Prussian concession regarding Luxembourg in the future. Napoleon III cautiously, cautiously responded with some remarks about the possibility of French neutrality in an inner German conflict involving the Kingdom of Prussia and the Austrian Empire in return. C'est intéressant. Ooh. Military leaders promoted. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. So, it is what it is. Um, this doesn't sound like we get it as a core preparing annexation, but you know what? Why not? We'll do that. I, what I really wanted to do, actually we can order more ships from these guys, uh, was grab this guy, yeah, for more legislative power, and we're doing protect the Patent Old Noom. But far too long. The lack of a copyright law has hindered scientific and cultural advance. Now, uh, advocates of radical free trade are beginning to gather support for the aboli for an abolition of the Patent Old Noom, which protects intellectual property concerning inventions. They claim that such legislation hinders economic growth because it prevents inventions from spreading. However, it has been proven in the UK and the US that a patent law actually encourages ingenuity. Hence, we must not give in to their demands. Very nice. Cool. Other than that, we haven't done too much else off screen. But let's go with Preussia bag of sets. Money has always been a strong factor in German industry and trade even before medieval times, but with the industrial era on our doorstep, we need to improve our mining standards. Germany is full of important resources like coal and iron, but the lack of proper standards is hindering our development. We get more resources to get, uh, efficiency gain and resources market, and we get Rhenish and Silesian steel. I love it. Cool. Oh, and we this is the last one we need for the reform, so we'll get there eventually. Uh, anything else? Not really. Nothing else has really happened too much. I guess we get another division here, which is pretty nice. Throw those guys over there and keep training, 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 training. I'm ready to beat up some Austrians, I swear. It's already May 1st. Oh, the thing should happen very, very soon. We'll see what happens. All right, everyone, but it's now almost August 1866. We're hanging out here, and we've got another focus that's currently underway. I'm currently gone ahead. I've kind of currently gone ahead. And done Silesian steel, because we could use a little bit more steel, since we do have to import a little bit from the Confederates. And we'll talk about them just a little bit, but we're doing Berliner Boza. The Berlin Stock Exchange is slowly growing in importance. The old venue, however, offers little to no room for expansion. We should find a new site for new building that will represent the rising esteem of Prussian finance and commerce. So, um, I'm not really sure when things are supposed to happen between Austria and us. 
I do know that, like, apparently Württemberg <clears throat> did align with the South Germans or the Austrians, so we'll see what happens. Carl the First, very cool, very, very cool. Uh, so, yeah, we're still hanging out here, still building up more industry, building up more roads, having a good old time with that. Ooh, and we maybe do some trade deals, huh? I still would, we still need to reform this stuff. I still would like to, uh, yeah, get get these reforms done first. Ooh, we can order this stuff domestically, huh? That's kind of cool. We can order more ships, but at this point, we really can't do anything about that. And look at the CSA. Um, well, they won the war, obviously, we saw earlier, but now they split themselves up. Like I said, like, uh, what is this? Oh, it's lagging super hard. Oh, God, what's going on? Oh, Pecos Central, or Pueblin Confederate State. Of course, we got the Confederate States under Arizona as a colony state, as well as Pueblin Confederate State. But it's very, I don't know, it's just weird seeing everyone broke up, which I guess makes sense with what they wanted. Vicksburg is capital. Interesting flag. Um, yeah, that's very weird. I just, I don't know, just when they broke up, it's very odd. St. Louis, and of course, then they have the Missouri region, but, hmm. Arkansas, that's a pretty normal flag. Texas, is they, do they have the normal Texas flag, or they do? Cool. Uh, oh, Sokoto, and we've got that focus done. A Preussian Consortium. By forming a consortium of the most powerful banks of Prussia, we could dramatically increase the value and security of our state bonds, which in turn will give us financial leeway for both domestic and international projects. Nice. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here, really. Arrest other people. Oh, there goes. Expand and build in a bolsa. Get more humanities research time. Less consumer goods. Use civil and Oh, French Expedition Korea. Let's try that one. Oh, I, well. Let's wait just a little bit first. As much as I love the extra consumer gets, we'll wait. So, the East Shivers followed the persecution of Christians with, within the kingdom of Joseon. Joseon. The French Pacific Fleet has launched an ex expedition in an attempt to stop the growing isolationist policies of the Korean Peninsula. The East Shivers. Uh, oh, here we go. Signs of war. Our constant quarrels with the Austrians and the German Confederation could be coming to a final close pretty soon. Both sides are tired of backing down or living with intolerable compromises, and our government is determined to stop flinching from military conflict. We have to get ready. Nice. We can break the dualism, huh? Well, that's the case. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, how many days? Have we... Uh, yeah, let's go and cancel all of them. Break the dualism. Uh, propose an alliance with the Kingdom of Italy. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to make sure that our border with the Russians is very nice. Because I've heard that things could get really hairy very quickly. The French could go to war with us, maybe. The Russians could potentially go to war with us, so we got to be just a little bit ready. So instead of over there, I'm going to keep you close to Bavaria, or the Bavaria that we can touch. God, there's so many German, small little German states. Uh, oh, we own Sul. They are Saxons. Oh, look at more divisions. Nice. Um, roads. I hope supply is not too bad down here. I hope it's actually quite good, actually. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Okay. But we're still building up civilian factories and roads. And also, so we can keep building more, 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 more stuff. Final answer, preparation for war. War has always been expensive, but the technological advances in warfare are increasing the cost of military conflict more than ever. Since we can no longer ignore the signs of a clash with the Austrian Empire, we need to prepare for our war chest. Let's also surely invite more budget cuts elsewhere. Soviet Prussian war preparations, way more consumer goods goes bye-bye. Oh, good lord. Oh, uh, we're still building up that stuff, which is nice. So who goes to war with Do we declare war on them, or do they declare war on us? That's my question. We could gather political legitimacy, but if we win the war, we should... It should go up, right? And Congress Kingdom restored. Oh, of Poland. Good for them. Wow. Oh, you're a puppet state of those guys. Okay. Colonial impact, huh? Autocrats, very cool. Partial privatization of railways? We need to bring in more money to finance a major conflict that is imminent. One rather effective way of doing so would be partial privatization of the railways that are of lower strategic importance to warfare, although this would hurt our ability to expand the existing networks. We could use additional income to mitigate the financial burden of a military conflict. Should we proceed with the sell-off? Um, that's fine. Yeah, financial construction speed? Eh, could be worse. Let's go and get that PP, because now I'm going to grab that other guy. Oh, we can't grab him yet. God dang it. Uh, ooh. Oh, well, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Because the conservative party is led by Bismarck. We want more Bismarckians. Um, uh, -da -da -dum -bum -bum. Great urbanizer. 
I do like that legislative power gain quite a bit. Yeah, infrastructure is cool and all, and this is still barely going up. So, and we want more traditional conservative support. So, and some mods aunt, and then we'll probably eventually get this guy too. Vena Lutohod Edmond. I guess we got an 1860 gunboat. It's kind of nice. And what else we got? 1866. We're doing that stuff over there. We did get some heavy designs. We can wait to do that. Process engineering, synthetic oil, biochemistry. Don't want her to hear either. Monthly population, monthly population. I guess we do more monthly population. I don't really know what's the best research cell. But we'll figure it out as we go. Alright, we're ready to go to war. We're ready. We got ten divisions here, four over here. Break the dualism, nice. Bundesreform plan. Very good. It only takes 28 days. Nice. Oh, there goes the Ottomans versus the Greeks. Well, some Greeks. Wow, you got a beard, dude. Holy crap. Alright. Increase arms production. We still need to stimulate our arms production to avoid supply shortages when the time comes, and it will come soon. These measures will bear additional costs, but they're necessary to avoid collapse. Alright, so be it. Our Prussian army preparations. The Austrian show of strength on our board has not gone unnoticed. We need to ready the troops and go through our plans of deployment again to inculcate the importance of discipline and sticking to the proposed plan and our officers. Zu befehl. Nice. So that should be going up quite a bit. Point zero do every day. Point zero two every day for now. And point six eight. It helps out just a little bit more so we get some more PP. We like the PP. Wilhelm the first is doing all right. Nice. So this way it might be slightly easier to pass bills. Maybe, maybe not. So come on, Austria. Come at us. Come at us, boy. Oh, World's Fair in Rio de Janeiro. Naturally, we will join. Of course, we will. Keep building up them, them factorinos. When you build, 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 build. Look at that population. We get 464 every month. Make more babies. <laughs> oh, and I guess we... Oh, we already did this. We integrated uh, Schleswig-Holstein. Or just Schleswig, not Schleswig-Holstein, but... Hopefully that's a core of us. More monthly population, because we can. No, it's not a core. Well, what's the point of doing that, then? Seriously, it's... Unless eventually, like, it just becomes, like, under us anyways, but... Oh, there goes that. Nice. Or civilian oversight. Uh, I don't like that. They said this, that we will integrate them, but what's the point of integrating them, then, at all? There's literally no point to do that yet. Oh, there's 2,000 Jews here. 6,000 Catholics. Huh. Alright. Uh, the German War. Always false. Well, that's guess. I'm going to go back over here, then, and uh, do this one. Yeah, I don't like that. <clears throat> it said we could integrate these guys, and I guess we did, but we just get no cores, which I don't like. Yeah, this is a very weird uh, southern United States, if I do say so myself. The Tennessean Confederate State. <laughs> Kentuckian. North Carolinian. South Carolinian. Floridian. Very odd. Oh, and then Seminole. Which is golf subculture and animism. How do you increase, like, different... Re regi uh, the religiosity of your nation? Or different, like, sections? East Texas is a Texan. And they're Texan here, too. And L Lipen? Lipen? 95%. How about this part? North Texas? 2%. How about over here? 76% and... Oh, they are shamanisms. Shamanists. Alright, 6%. And they are Alpha Pascan. Alright, well, good luck with that, guys. Alright, so I was, I was pretty sure that the war would start in 1866, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, perform, oh here we go. Perform, uh, propose an alliance with Italy? Sure, why not? I'll try that. Bundes reform plan? We'll attempt to push some reforms in the German Confederation that allow us to unify the Germany more easily. Austria may be upset at our ambition to do that very thing, but we cannot neglect our own interests just to appease them. We should probably prepare for military conflict if we wish to take this decision. The decision leads to the, the war with the Germans. Yep, yeah, this this mod definitely doesn't... I'm not, I'm not asking for my hand to be held while playing this, but, like... It doesn't tell you jack squat. May I lead with the conflict with the Austrian Empire. Well, I wish I had more political power now. That'd be kind of nice. Total population is only 20 million. We need more babies. Alright, that's we're about halfway done with that. The next technology should be done actually pretty darn soon. Uh, we could use another general, though. Oh, well, we got some more generals. Look at that. I'm asking that, and we get Edward von Monteufel. Alright, cool. What do you got for us, Edwin? 
Uh, cavalry expert. I'll go with cavalry because it's probably the way to go. We need another field marshal here. Um, Skull Staffer. Von Wilhelm von Preussen. Friedrich Wilhelm von Preussen. Happy 1867, everyone. And hold the speech. Careful approach. Symbolic content, pretty much. Anything else we need around here? Drig, ri drilling rigs. Cool. Nice. We got enough wood to last us a lifetime. Nice for now. Nice. 67. That's a little bit ahead of time. I guess we get some more synthetic oil, I guess. I don't know. Probably not too useful, but that's alright. We got a lot of power projection. Wow. Not bad. What's the uh, roads like here? Oh, not bad. Infrastructure. Requires technology, so by construction. We're in the Victorian age, which hurts us. Accept the Italian demands. The Kingdom of Italy is asking for the state of Veneto in case of our victory. In return for the proposed alliance against the Austrian Empire, it seems like a reasonable demand. Every victorious Italians will get the state of Veneto from the Austrian Empire. Uh, sure. You can have that if you want. That would really not be good for the Austrians. Whew! Which means... Ooh, would the Russians come on in? Let's do this, let's do this plan too. Present Bundes Reform Plan. Otto von Bismarck has been asked to brief the Federal Assembly in Frankfurt regarding the key elements of his plan to reform the German Confederation. He will step forward with a rough outline of the, his intentions in just a moment. Via El Folg. Alright. Longer barrel design. More piercing. That's kind of nice. Also, I was able to get some Gatling guns, so I'm not sure if anyone uses those, but we'll try some machine guns. Because they got so much stuff to attack that they might be worth, worth it. Overwhelming. Oh, look at that. Nice. So I think we're on the infantry divisions. I'd like to throw on these guys. Just because it, it hurts our organization by, like, minus 7. But you get 26 more defense and almost 20 more soft attack. I love that soft attack. I just want to butcher our enemies. But we're going to wait to put it on some. Anything else? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Well, we're starting to run out of focuses here. But... The rice is Gefabrik. Gewehr Fabrik. So, weapon factory. In order to mass produce the dry so rifle, we'll have to support the company in Suderma. Suderma. Sud Somerda. The developing dry mill of subsidized could eventually produce a lot of firearms for our country. Nice. Support the Austrian socialists. We could try to support the Austrian socialists and a bit of further infiltrate their political administration, or at the very least, cause some turmoil on the streets and in the factories of the big cities. This would be a risky move, although since parts of the socialist movement are connected within the German Confederation, this could backfire, and we might find similar in socialist insurgencies too. Go ahead. Mm, no, let's let's not go too crazy here. I mean, we've got ambitions, but some of those ambitions might need to be held a little bit in check. Oh, more research speed. Oh, what is that? Principles. Heredity? Ooh! I love heredity! Are we talking about, like, who's what of what lineage? Sounds very German. Support Hungarian separatists. Hungarians in the majority are quite well disposed towards us. We could use their hopes of participation or even liberation to our advantage. Should we try to support them in an attempt to destabilize uh, the Austrian Empire? Um. We could. I don't know if there's a way for us to, like, make Mega Germany. Is there? That'd be really cool if we could. Forcing Consortium. Oh, we need to do this one then. Oh, crap. Can I beat the Austrians by myself? We already have the Italians, so. Nah, let's leave the Hungarians alone for now. There we go. Expand the Boza thingy. But then a Boza. Cool. And. 0.69. Nice. Every single day. Yeah, what are the French up to, actually? Napoleon III. Bonapartists, huh? Liberal Empire. Uh, French, they got not nearly as much manpower. I'm kind of surprised, actually, because look at the Austrian Empire. They wanted 3 million versus literally, like, these guys have 200,000, maybe. So, what is this? King of Italy? Assassination attempt on Bismarck. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, why did it go away? Wait, what the heck? I wasn't able to read the event. It's just, I didn't click on anything. All I wanted to click on was the default map, but I didn't even click enter or anything. Um, okay, game. That's very odd. I, I've never had that happen before. Austria blocks a reform plan, though. The Austrian government has been able to gather support to block our plan of reforming the German Confederation. While this may not be the end of our reform proposal, it has put Bismarck under pressure to come forward with more acceptable terms, or the reform plan will probably fail if I don't. Okay, I've never... 
So someone literally just tried to assassinate him. People don't want to tell us that. But Parliament disillusioned. Assassination... Assassination attempt on Prime Minister Von Bismarck is once again proving that the Republicans, Democrats, and Liberals are a danger to their security. There's a war coming. It's not very popular among the public. However, we will need stability and order now. Thus, Parliament will have to be dissolved to avoid political uproar during the times of war. Maybe we can force some more favorable outcome this way, too. So, Psy S. Oh, here we go. We do this one, finally. Lose command power, army XP. We lose some more daily... PP game, but we get more organization, max planning, planning speed. Max planning is really nice. And slightly more population to use, so that's, that's actually not too bad. Alright, is there anything else I can do down here yet? Nope. Peace of Prague. Peace of Breslau. Well, we definitely want the Peace of Prague. And Prussian annexations, that'd be really, really nice. Oh, what's going on here? Is it the naval thing? The stupid little naval thing? Yeah. High seas fleet? Yeah. I've, said, I've already talked enough about the high seas fleet thing, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. That's, you know my opinion on that. Cool. 0.67, oh, that's sad. Yeah, we had to go down to civilian economy because people wanted that. And we we're going to like lose stability if we didn't go down anyway. So, And we actually got to think some more legislative power by going back to civilian. So. It kind of sucks. Actually, it really, really, really does suck, but whatever. What is the next research done? Come on, Austria. Just piss us off or something. Please. Bohemian, huh? At least it should be Romanians? Well, Lashians, no. It's a, well, it is a Romanian subculture group, though. Austria Bavarian? Austria invokes Bundestag in Schleswig Holstein question. A dispute with the Austrians have recently been re inflamed by the still unresolved Schleswig Holstein question yesterday. The Austrian government asked the Federal Assembly of the German Confederation to take this matter into their hands and reach a decision. The Austrians are in breach of our mutual arrangements regarding Schleswig Holstein. This could be considered an act of war that could pr continue to pursue that path. Was für eine. On the foreign height. Oh boy. I guess technically we should probably use these ships too. They are capital ships. They're not too bad. We got plenty of XP for this, so. Wow, that's so much more attack and piercing, but so much slower. Gunboat engine, sail, masts. It's not bad. Or we can use gunboat engines. Yeah. Go as fast as you possibly can. Vroom, vroom. Uh, nothing there. I guess go heavy battery. There you go. What is this? Cannons? Nice. Even more. Well, that's a lot of heavy attack. We already have enough attack. So... I think we'll go with this because I don't want to let's get too much slower. There you go. One. Gunboat Mark Twos. Three. Go and scrap this one because we're already doing that, so. There you go. Uno dos. Nice. One, two, three, that'd be great. Occupation of Holstein. The Austrians have invoked the Federal Assembly of the German Confederation in a discord over Schleswig Holstein question. We cannot let Frankfurt be make such far reaching decisions concerning the stability and prosperity of the Kingdom of Prussia. We could swiftly seize and occupy Holstein and present the Austrians with a fai comply? Vovats? It's that lion. A few years ago, the Danes built a statue of lion at Flensburg, commemorating their victory over German forces in the First Schleswig War. Now that we can control Flensburg, perhaps it's time to get rid of the symbol of the German defeat. Pretty much. Hey, is that actually core? No, that's a, uh, uh, that's a little better. That's a colony state. It's a little better. Suggests Austrian exit from the German Confederation. At this moment, von Otto von Bismarck has corresponded with several governments of the German Confederation's member states regarding a last-minute reform proposal that would avoid, could avoid a war within the, the Confederation. If the most powerful German miners agree, let's hope he is successful, and we will see what happens. We could use more stability, though. Uh, Austria filed motion for ex federal execution against us. News reaches us from the Bundestag in Frankfurt that Austria has filed a motion for federal execution against her country. The inevitable is about to happen. If the motion is granted, there will be a war within the German Confederation on the Guevara. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where everything is going, where it's all going to take place. So I don't know who's allied with who. So we're just going to go and do that, and then you guys are over there. I doubt the Hanover folks would really want to kill us. I know in Vicky too, sometimes these guys want to kill us, but then they touch Bavaria too, so yeah. Cavalry expert, you know, I would prefer this sometimes. 
federal execution granted. The Bundestag has reached a conclusion in regards to the Austrian motion for a federal execution against the Kingdom of Prussia. The motion has been granted and will be activated immediately, and the federal army will now be mobilized. Prussia must immediately vacate the duchies of Schleswig and Holstein or face military consequences. War on German soil is about to erupt. Give us about three more seconds because I want to get your guys a little bit more organization here. Man, you, you, trying to get organization for these guys is incredibly slow. Wow. Give it five seconds. Five. Go. De Declare German Confederation dissolved. Following the granting of federal execution against our country in a matter that should only concern Austria and Prussia, the Kingdom of Prussia regards said resolution as illicit and declares the German Confederation dissolved. Zu den Waffen got es mit uns. This means war. Create our own faction, the Prussian Union. Taking Prague will greatly aid our chances of victory. We go straight to war with them. Nice. War within the German Confederation. If you'd like to hear about that, please go right ahead. So we go to war with them. A major conflict. Alright, so let's keep an eye. So we are here. And there is the Gross Deutscher Bund. Ah, I'm glad I put these soldiers here. That's good. Now, can we just kind of smack them? Oh, we got that one done too. Nice. Just in time. Lichtenstein. Uh, we have these guys covered. Um, hopefully France is not getting involved. I would prefer you guys getting involved, though. Uh, no, that's not you. Was it you guys? It is you guys, okay. And what are we going to do next? Well, we can't do too much else. We can do stuff on the left side, though. Um, policy towards the French. We might want to wait on that one just a little bit. How about we do Kungelische Preußische Gewehrfabrik? Uh, originally situated in Potsdam, the Kungelische Preußische Gewehrfabrik has been the primary supplier of Prussian arms for quite some time now. The factory grounds in Potsdam have reached the capacity of the only arsenal and the associated factories have been moved to Spandau for that reason. We will support the expansion of the Spandau arsenal in Brandenburg so we can produce more weapons for us. Yes. Anything else here I need to know? Boost army morale. That wouldn't be terrible. Promote Prussian war austerity? Okay. Yeah, the legitimacy, territory administration. Okay, there we go. We can actually course up eventually. We need more legislative power that we absolutely have none of. Which is a big sucko, but whatever. Can we actually win it? Send a Prussian ultimatum. We already find ourselves at war with the Austrian Empire and South German countries. We can still try to assert control over Northern Germany, though. Based on a proposal for reform of the German Confederation, we will invite the North Germans that have voted in favor of the federal execution against us to join our faction. We will promise them territorial integrity if they propose or join a proposed federation. Vovats. Hanover Electorate has and others to join us in federation refusal will be oh my gosh um please hanover do not say no uh, i'm not sure we're gonna really afford this we're fighting frankfurt go figure okay holy crap look at this north german uh, alliance proposal we already find ourselves at war with the Austrian Empire and the South German countries. We can still try to assert control over Northern Germany, though, based on a proposal for reform of the German Confederation. We will invite our friends in the North to join their faction. We will promise them territorial integrity if they join our proposed federation in Nurzu. Look at those guard divisions. Jeez Louise. Kingdom of Hanover ignored our legislation. Ah, there goes the Italians. Nice. Kingdom of Hanover has ignored the... Ultimate, ultimatum to join a federation against the Austrian Empire and the South German countries. This means shnikes. Everyone's ignoring us. Send stab in the heart. Dispatch to the Kingdom of Italy. Despite our alliance, the Italians are still hesitating to join the war against the Austrian Empire. We still send them an indignant dispatch to keep their promises to, or face consequences. I can't afford the war here, guys. Oh my goodness. That okay? That means we just got to go in. We're going in completely. Oldenburg accepted our proposal. Good. It'll be joining our federation against the Austrian Empire and the South German countries. Helvorangen. Nice. Bremen. Hamburg. Mecklenburg. Lübeck. Grand Duchy Thuringia. Uh, who else can we invite? Yes. Into the faction. Sure. Okay, screw these stupid Austrians. Whee! Let's go! Wow. Look. Oh, God. They're actually coming in here. Look how weak they're getting. Holy crap. We did we just kill it? We just killed the division off and we've been cut off. Oh crap. Um Saxony, how dare you? How absolutely dare you? Okay, if that's the case, you guys come over here. We gotta beat up a couple guys right here too, then. Cause we will we will be running out of supplies. 
Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, Jimmy's a blaze right now. Oof. Losses? What are the losses? 5,000 versus 18? That is not bad. Of course, we're not using most of our forces here. And it seems like even... Ooh, oh, yes. Uh, reserves mobilizing. If you'd like to do about this, please go right ahead. And underwhelming political stability. We have to move forward. Whatever. Yeah, overall, I think we're doing relatively okay. So, yeah, stupid Saxons. Well, at this point, because they made their choice, we don't have to cut them off. Hey, we made an encirclement. Then again, it doesn't matter. Look how... Oh, they just died. Hey, oh, thanks for the <laughs> Napoleonic uniforms, guys. I uh, appreciate it, you know? Thanks for uh, helping out the war effort. Country wishes you the best. Oh, we're, we're taking Prague. All right, so we've lost 11,000 versus 50 Austria. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even with Saxony you know, and a lot of the North German states under your control, you're still losing, son. You're still not winning. Even though Berlin is completely open, so this is not good. This is really, really, really not good. Okay, you guys have got to go faster. I don't care if you die in the field, because the, the road to Berlin is literally open. Go, 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 go. Kill off Saxony so we can put you guys back up. Okay, hashtag, stop Okay, Saxony's gone. That's good, 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 good. But seriously, though, I don't... Oh, okay, this is for peace. Okay. Whew. News reaches us that the Austrian Empire is suing for peace. This means victory is ours. Gross Autosche Neuischkeiten. Good. Oh, we lost a lot of war support from that. No, 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 no. They need to beg mercy for, from us. Like, come on. That's so dumb. Oh, we're still efficiency gain. Uh, I guess we'll do pasteurization. It's good to do that eventually. And oil refinery one. Well, we did really, really well. We lost quite a few guys, but hey, it is what it is. Gifford airship, why not? War with a rival? Yes. And nothing changed. How great. How great. Nothing changed. So, I want... I want revenge... Or not revenge, but I want to destroy Saxony, destroy Hanover. Oh, that means we have no military access over here, does it? Oh, we lost a couple divisions too down here too. Oh crap! So hopefully we get some stuff down here. Of course, we we will get this one piece of Prague, and the Russian annexations. But we have to just give it a few moments for things to probably process. So, Rhenish steel. Oh, we need to support these guys. Brandenburg has at least four military industry. Okay, that's not too bad. We can definitely do that. Definitely, definitely, definitely do that. Political legitimacy would not be bad. So if I do this... Political legitimacy... Political stability is this one. That is that. So if we do this... Does it go up? Or I just literally wasted my time here with that. I literally wasted my time. But Alpha shoots on... Thruts Bundesa to South German countries. The German war is over and we are victorious. Since the South German countries have been defeated, we have some leeway in our approach towards them. One thing is certain, though. After the dissolution of the German Confederation, these countries need protection from a great power. The Austrians will need years to recover from their defeat. I would just kill them again. Which leaves us and the French as possible partners. We should seize the moment and offer them Schutz und Thruts Bundes, alliances for protection and defense to avoid growing French influence the South Guter Plan. Sounds like a good idea. Offer secret defensive packs to South German countries in a bid to replace the lost protection of the dissolved German Confederation. I'm ready to just destroy them and completely control them from our side of the fence here. Oh, we still need more political power for that. That's fine. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm ready to blow them all up. Direct rule from Berlin. Jesus. What the heck is wrong with all you guys? Okay, we got Württemberg with us. Military industries go one, two, three, four. Uh, let's do four for now. Let's have build that up first, though. More civvies. North German Confederation Treaties. According to agreements with the North German countries, we will now sign the contracts to create the North German Confederation. The North German countries that reject our proposal will be forced to join the new confederation or I'll be annexed into the Kingdom of Prussia. Northern Germany is finally under our control. Thank goodness. Hopefully this speeds up the game just slightly more. Um, This is really ugly. Holy crap. Yeah, but I, I love the, you know, the, oh, that's a beautiful flag, my friends. I'm ready to kill them. Do we get more population or anything, or does this... These aren't cores, are... What? Oh, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's gotta be a way to core this stuff. Uh, there's gotta be a way, right? There's gotta be a way. Uh, we're just finished the game, sure, why not? Anything else for trade here that we should be aware of? We got plenty of raw iron. Oh, we got plenty of this, too. Let's cut that off. Yeah, we support the Confederates here? I don't know. Uh, we're already getting enough from them. Do it from Sweden. There we go. Balance it out. Can we? Okay. 
The Prague Peace Treaty. All partaking powers have gathered in Prague to sign the peace treaty. We are the victors to will we are the victors will be able to dictate these terms. We need to spare the Austrian Empire from great losses though. As we might otherwise be isolated in the future and cannot afford a certain enemy that we are share so much with. Nut nun gut. This will mark the end of the German Confederation and the beginning of the North German Confederation. We have won the German war. Nice. And German reserves are demobilizing. So be it. So be it. Ah, uh, Bavaria is accepted. Good. Ah, uh, German Confederation dissolved. We've already declared the German Confed. Okay, I don't understand. Sometimes it just they just don't want it to, like us to read anything here. Okay, the end of the Confederation. So be it. Uh, anything else here that you know about scientific advancements? N Machine era, not quite yet there yet. Um, territory administration, get troops out of southern Germany. Some of our regiments are stuck in the province of Hohenzollern and Sigmaringen, which is owned by us after the war with Austria. These troops are not legally allowed to move back towards our territory, so we should request access from southern German states to get them back. They will not really have a choice to deny it either way, so. Yeah. Get them out of there. That'd be good. There you go, something like that. Whoops. Um, we still want to core that stuff, but gather yeah, the worst would be nice. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so seriously, I don't understand this. I mean, I guess it makes sense why that stuff isn't cored immediately yet, but I hope there's a way we can do it. I really do. And now that we can spread out a little bit more, we're going to throw more divisions in here. This guard divisions did okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think, ooh, they use support equipment? Huh. I I just I think I just make it easier if I just do all infantry. We'll gain cannons, support equipment. That's fine. Nice. It just makes it easier on me, you know. A lot of line infantry here. About here, horses. Not too bad. Someone did suggest. Ooh, signed. Hold on. We have signed defensive pacts with the South German countries. The French have surely hoped to capitalize from the war and expand their influence in Southern Germany. They'll be quite disappointed, to say the least. We have secretly signed secret defensive pacts with the South German countries. They will stand with us, and we will stand with them in case of a defensive war. Oh boy. Uh, but I'm trying to say, like, someone recommended that we should dissolve our cavalry and just make them all line infantry. I mean, we could do that, but I do like the speed on these guys. They're slightly faster. <laughs> Really just slightly faster than these guys, which is four kilometers, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's go and do the territory administration of Schleswig. That'd be kind of nice. And I'll give it just one more day. Don't do another focus. Nice. Or did that just court, in, court it immediately? That'd be really nice. All right, now that's finally something. Muy bueno, my friends. Prussian annexations. Here we go. Address the British loading rifle of Prussian annexations. Oh, I hope this is good for us. We got... 16 more days, two weeks left. Conservative party still going up more, more, more. Uh, anything else we need to do here? I'm not really sure. Land purchases don't seem like a bad idea. Land estates kind of hurts us. Hurt. But this is this really nice, actually, already. Peasant holdings. Eh, that's not bad. I like the consumer goods. Collectivization. Communalism. Oh, serfdom? Wow, you lose weekly stability and war support. All right. Um, state religion. Theocratic state. Fundamentalism, huh? Open to schoolerinos. Compulsory education. Alright, not bad. Privileged education, huh? Alright, it's time to annex the Rentenant forces in northern Germany into the North German Confederation. According to our agreements with the South German states and the Austrian Empire and the Prague Peace Treaty, the North German Confederation will contain all German lands north of the main river line. The annexation of the Kingdom of Hanover and the electorate of hesse kassel will finally connect the Prussian lands in the east and west Volan. Yes. Yes. Call for an election for the constituted Reichstag. The Austrians are defeated, and we've reached an agreement with the North German states to form a union. We've already prepared an election to convene a constituted Reichstag that will decide on the union's new constitution. Eligible voters will head to the polls in a week's time. Volan. Beautiful. Oh, we have one more division. That's not much. <laughs> there you go. Ah, at least we have something done. It feels good to have something done, my friends. Finally, something is done and accomplished for us. North German Confederation, of course. We've managed to form a confederation of states in Northern Germany. We must now reform this confederation. Nice. An Iron Chancellor. And how do we do this? Requires the Constitutive Reichstag Parliament to be elected. Uh, I guess we have to wait for that then. Oh, that's this one. Yeah. 
Indemnitsa Volaga. The army reform proved to be very, very effective. Our rivals had a suit for peace, and we submitted the Prussia's hegemony over Germany. Now it's time for to come to, come to terms with the internal opposition. The success of our measures sways a number of liberals in our favor, and we could offer them the promise to unify Germany. This way, we might be able to divide the liberal movement. Oh, yes. Oh, can we finally get rid of that god-awful policy that we have? Oh, please, things are just coming together. Now this is getting... This, I'm actually kind of excited to play this a little bit more now. Because this is a little bit more fun, in my opinion. Things are going on. We, and we still have to wait weeks or months for things to get done, but... Not bad. That one national spirit hurts us. This one really sucks. But uh, the wars against Denmark and Austria have proven our measures against... Uh, previous measures successful. The people have spoken. Liberal sentiment among the public is not as deeply rooted as we might have feared. It's a landslide victory for conservatives. Fabelhaft. 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 I'm ready to beat up the Austrians again. Let's go. Oh, gave the Italians this. Oh, well, maybe... Yeah. Nice job, guys. That's another quarter there. Oh, look at that. Venetian. Um, the Azubiars Trading Empire. Harar. Alright. Oh, anything here? Nice. This is actually not too bad. We got uh, slightly more factories. Not that many more. Now we're looking at... I, I really need to play Vicky 2 Prussia on this campaign. Actually, you know what? On this channel, I mean... I actually have already played Victoria to Germany, Prussia to Germany before, so... Oh, this one looks really good. Let's grab that one, yeah. I have done it before. Uh, it's a very old campaign video, though, that it... it I don't know. It just... It, it's so old at this point that I need to do it again. Uh, yeah, we still need to pull those two ports. Uh, two naval bases there. That is so small. I think we can spare some time for that. Naval bases. There you go. We can do that other stuff later on. It shouldn't take too long to build this, right? It's only 5,000 each, so we'll get that done pretty quickly. So we'll get that done pretty quickly. We'll get some, two more building slots, two more infrastructure, two more naval bases. And at least we'll get Wilhelmshaven, which I know from, you know, Hoi 4. We all know from Hoi 4. Or maybe you live there. Maybe. That'd be really cool if you live there. Uh, ah, very nice. Constitutive Reichstag of the Confederation. We'll establish Reichstag constituting solely of member states of the Confederation representative of these. Nice. We can draft a constitution. Oh, boy. So we'll get that one thing done. We're going to need four military industry, which we'll get done. This one, we need... F oh, five? Um, okay. That's just one more press. Thank you. We hope we'll get that done. It shouldn't be too bad. Foundation of the National Liberal Party. The question of indemnity, in this case, meaning the sub subsequent... Oh, Jesus Christ. The, the subsequent... Legitimization of a previously enforced political action has divided the liberal movement. Whereas the DFP delegates predominantly rejected the bill, the more right-leaning liberals voted in favor. The latter, we have now formed a political assembly of their own, the National Liberal Party, the National Liberal Party. Maybe the chance will be able to work together with the liberals at least in part, after all. Volan, nice. I love separating people. Uh, we could do that. 5% political stability. That's national stability. We're looking at political stability. Uh, you're definitely not secularizing the North German Confederation. No way, man. No way. Weekly war support would be nice. Stabilize the nation. Be okay. And just inherit our air. No, we're good. Anything else here that I really, really want? Um, we could order warships from France and such, but is there really even a point to do that now? I don't know. I don't think so. Wow, we only got five million more people here. I guess there wasn't that many millions living up here already. Oh, oh yes. Oh, wow. Why is the game lagging so hard? Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's lagging extremely hard. What happened? Did someone explode? Oh, the Heavenly Kingdom is still here. I, I I would never want to fight a land war in China. Then again, we play we play Hoi 4 quite a lot on this channel. Can someone please fix Australia? Can we get like some tape or some super glue or something here? Like, this is Australia. Oh, but Africa's a mess, whatever. The Confederate States. They're just confederating. Alright, so that's not too bad. There we go. The king of Prussia will have the Bundespresidium. The king has led us through the wars. He will be the new union's head of state. This will stabilize the union, keep the other monarchs happy, as they will keep the position in their respective dominions. Long live the king. Nice. Oh, Egypt and Abyssinia. I guess Reichstag. Council system. Okay. Bundespresidium. After deciding our future head of state, we need to determine how the North German Confederation will be structured and represented, both politically and on the battlefield, but... I think we've gone far enough in this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And if you haven't already, of course, we need to do administrative reforms in North Germany. Ah, there it is. I see. We need a lot of political power for that. But we hope you I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.